Okay, you guys, we're here on a big red carpet event with Guillermo Peluso. If you haven't heard of him yet, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. He's a great painter, great artist from Argentina. He came all the way here for his grand opening of his red carpet event. As you can see, I have a gorgeous painting by my beautiful model right here. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? She's a work of art herself. So we're here, ladies and gentlemen, at Kitchen 305 inside the Newport Beach Side Resort, where we're gonna meet and greet the one, the only, Guillermo Peluso. Stay tuned. Por llegar y poder venir al hotel. La verdad que realmente feliz. Ahora, tú viniste de Argentina, ¿verdad? You came from Argentina? Sí, vine de Argentina, ya vine, es la segunda vez que vengo. Ahora con más expectativa porque venimos a este hotel que está maravilloso y de ahí al Paseo de las Artes. Exactamente, you're going to be showcasing your beautiful, beautiful paintings at el Paseo de las Artes. Ahí donde le vas a enseñar en el Paseo de las Artes, ¿verdad? Sí, vamos al Paseo de las Artes a partir del 28 y ahí ya nos quedamos bastante tiempo. Ok, so he's here all the way from Argentina where he's going to be show Casing, showcasing his beautiful artwork on the 28th, the 28th of 28 de noviembre, right? November 28th? 28 de noviembre en el Paseo de las Artes. Paseo de las Artes. So let me ask you this question. What motivated you to start painting? ¿Qué, qué te motivó para, para empezar a pintar? Y es, es como, el, el, yo creo que artista se nace. Entonces la motivación es el día a día y pintar constantemente. O sea, la, la inspiración viene del trabajo, del trabajo constante. ¿no? So basically he said his inspiration is something that you're born with. It's something that it was basically innate, something that was in his heart, something that he feels he needs to express through the canvas. So I'm going to ask him another question. Le voy a hacer otra preguntita ahí. ¿Cuánto tiempo le, o sea, te demora en, en pintar, por ejemplo, un cuadro? How long does it usually take you to actually create one painting? Es, depende del tamaño y depende del tiempo, de eh, o sea, la inspiración del día. Hay veces hay cuadros que salen en un día, hay veces tardas un mes. Es, hay cuadros que se traban y cuadros que no, y hay cuadros que fluyen. So basically he said, sometimes it takes him one day to create a masterpiece, sometimes it takes como a month or week? Una... Semana, meses. Oh, months, months to create an actual uh, work of art. Sí, es, depende del tamaño de la pieza. Es una pieza de dos metros por tres, lleva bastante más tiempo que una chiquitita que sale más rápido. Of course, so it obviously also depends on the size of the painting. Obviously, the smaller the painting, you know, the quicker uh, it takes for him to do it. Obviously, the larger the painting, you know, longer time it takes. Um, and out of all these paintings that I see, de todas estas pinturas que veo, which one is your favorite and why? ¿Cuál? Si tú puedes escoger una. Which I know it's difficult because these are, this is like your baby, son tus bebés. Pero si tienes que escoger una, if you had to choose one, which one is your favorite and why? Creo que todas tienen algo. Yo, yo creo que son hijos y que uno los deja. O sea, se tienen que ir en algún momento. Entonces yo las pinto en el momento, me parece que es la mejor, hasta que agarro otra y la otra es la mejor, y así sucesivamente. So basically what he's saying is, you know, they're, they're like his children. It's, it's like a child to him, but as a child, they have to grow up and you have to let them go. And obviously, as soon as he's done painting one, that is his favorite. But once he, you know, lets that one go, the next one becomes his favorite. So what, what I'm going to ask you one more, one more question. Is that okay? Una... Sí. Okay, okay, okay. Ahora, if somebody was starting, you know, and they want to be a painter, si alguien quiere... Empezar a pintar. What advice would you give them? ¿Qué consejo le darías a esa persona? Especially if people say, oh, that's an ugly painting, you'll never be an artist. Si alguien le dice, ay, no, esa pintura es horrible. ¿Qué es la motivación? ¿Qué consejo le das a, esa, a ese pintor? What, what advice would you give? Yo creo que, que para empezar a pintar primero hay que creer en uno mismo. Eh, centrarse, enfocarse en lo que uno quiere y siempre mirar para adelante. Yo creo que cada pintura va, va a ir mejorando y mejorando a través de los, de los años o del tiempo, pero siempre cree en uno mismo porque es lo único que te motiva a seguir haciendo. Bellas palabras de verdad, and basically what he said is, you know, the motivation is really within yourself. Never give up on your dream, always push yourself, and the one person that's going to motivate you is not your neighbor, is not your mom, is not your dad, who cares? It's what you believe inside that you can do this. Y claro que lo logras, ¿verdad? Se logra, se logra y hay que poner mucho esfuerzo, creer mucho en uno y no trabarse nada. Que nada te trabe. No, claro que sí, un placer, really, real pleasure to have you here. I absolutely love your paintings and I wish you truly the best, the best wishes and the best success. Muchos éxitos de verdad y muchas gracias por compartir esta noche con nosotros. No, muchas gracias, yo estoy eternamente agradecido que, 
que me den este espacio, a mí que soy un humilde pintor. Muchas gracias de verdad, eres un amor, eres un amor. Guys, you can do better than that. How's everybody doing this evening? Much better. We have an amazing event tonight. You guys are all invited to check it out. To my right, I have the one, the only, Guillermo Peluso. He is a world-known artist. He came all the way from Argentina to participate in our basal and showcase all his beautiful paintings. So please, when you get a chance, feel free to go out there and definitely preview his paintings. Please, let's give him a nice warm applause to Guillermo Peluso. I think he's gonna say just a brief word and I'll translate for you, Guillermo. Bueno, quería agradecerles a todos los que vinieron, a todos los que creen en el arte y que siempre nos apoyaron, desde mis amigos a Sergio, a Claudio, a Tatiana, a todos los chicos, a Elisa Rosa, a, a todos los que nos, nos, nos hicieron posible que estemos acá, ¿no es verdad? Eh, y agradecer la oportunidad de poder estar en este hotel tan maravilloso y que pueden ver la obra, bueno, que no solo nos pueden ver acá, sino por los medios, por internet, por Facebook, nos pueden googlear y vernos siempre. He's very thankful for being here tonight. Uh, it's quite an honor for him to showcase his beautiful paintings that obviously he paints every time from his heart. We're honored to see his creative work. He's an amazing painter and I wish him great success. Again, let's hear for Guillermo Peluso and again, go see his paintings. 